TCP Valley Type Deposits Definition Mississippi Valley Type MVT or deposits are part of a spectrum of deposits that form during the evolution of a sedimentary basin. They are defined as ores of the minerals galena and cephalerite with the associated barite and fluorite. The ores are stratobond and are largely confined to carbonate rock beds. MIT deposits are found throughout the world but are most abundant in Europe and North America. Their name comes from several classic districts that are located in the drainage basin of the Mississippi Well River. Some of the better known and studied districts are A. Tri-State District, Southwest Missouri, Oklahoma, Kansas B. Central and Eastern Tennessee C. Wisconsin, area of the Upper Mississippi D. Pine Point and uh, Polaris E. English Pennies, Ireland and the Eastern Alps Deposits within a district have similar geological and geochemical attributes and are ore controls, whereas individual districts can be quite district, distinct from one another. This diversity is illustrated by deposits in the central and southern USA. Those in Tennessee, Vibranium Trend are lead rich, those in the tri-state are zinc rich and that in southeast Missouri are barium rich. The diversity between ore districts is not only expressed in the dominant ore mineral but also in overall ore assemblages, alteration, minerals, ore strokes and uh, ore controls. The diversity is believed to be due to range of depositional processes, paleohydrological controls on the ore fluids and hydrothermal fluid rock interactions. Minerals Most MVT deposits have a simple mineralogy consisting primarily of sulfide minerals that are dominated by cephalerite, commonly yellow to light brown due to low iron content, galena low in silver, pyrite and marcasite. Barite may be present in minor amounts, though in a few deposits it is the dominant minerals, central Missouri. Fluorite is also a common but minor constituent. Some deposits also contain a complex assemblage of carbonate sulfide and sulfur salt copper, zinc, lead, cobalt, silver, and antimony minerals. Cadmium is also a common constituent and is associated with cephalerite. The ore minerals and the gong occur in several different ways. Number one, fine grained banded stratoform or bending on the micron scale that occurs as beds that extend from inches to several tens of feet. Bending can also occur within individual crystals. Number two, replacement and open space filling. Replacement of carbonate beds can produce massive sulfides over short distance, short distances. Most common is open space fillings, which vary from the lining to the filling of cavities. The ore minerals and the gong occur in several different ways. Number three, cementing material or breccias, which include landslide, talus, dissolution, and a collapse. Number four, special forms such as zebra texture ore, which is the partial replacement of galena and or cephalorite by dolomite. Snow on the roof, where sulfide minerals coat the tops of crystals or breccia classed in open spaces and finally sulfide uh, speleothrums such as 
trepstone, trepstone, stagless, stalactites, uh, stalactites, and a uh, patterns. Grade and a tonnage. MVT deposits are distributed over hundreds of square kilometers that define individual or districts. Large districts include Southeast Missouri, 3,000 square kilometer, Tri State, 1800 square kilometer, Irish Midlands, 8000 square kilometer, Upper Mississippi Valley, 8000 square kilometers. Pine Point contains more than 80 individual deposits. Ages The age of MVT deposits varies from Cambrian to Cretaceous through Cambrian, Carboniferous, and Triassic to Cretaceous, or where more than 95% of the deposits occur. There are few in the Silurian, Devonian, and even though carbonate rocks are abundant in Precambrian terrains, there are few MVT deposits. Post rocks and original steam. Post rocks are limestone and dolostone, with most deposits found in dolostone. It is believed this preference for dolostone is due to the fact it is more permeable than limestone. In general, the carbonate rocks form parts of reef complexes with individual or deposits occurring either along belts conforming to ancient elongated reef complexes or as local grouping that conform to irregular reefs or banks. The distribution of the reefs and associated carbonate rocks is related to a oil shorelines b bottom topography c climate local setting number one above unconformities in carbonate environment such as reefs and fishes changes that is a carbonate reef to shell two stratigraphic pinch outs three tell us our landslide breccias four in solution collapse breccias fifth drape structures 6, 8, uh, a fishes change. Alteration. Hydrothermal alteration associated with the carbonate rocks that holds the MOT deposits is typically represented by number 1. Dissolution of carbonate rocks, which included hydrothermal brexiation and a dissolving of the rocks by acidic floods. Number 2. Dolomitization hydrothermal dolomite which replaces the host limestone or occurs as cement in open space areas such as breccia zones or cast areas. Dolomitization increases the rock's porosity. Silicification This is a minor alteration type and its intensity is dependent on the temperature of the hydrothermal fluids along with the amount of cooling that occurred during ore formation. Silicification is greater than hotter the system. Tectonic setting. The most important period of MVT formation was from the Devonian to the Permian, which corresponds to a series of tectonic events that occurred during the formation of Pangaea. The second most common time period for these deposits was the Cretaceous to the Tertiary and is associated with plate tectonic activity along North America's east coast. There is thus a direct correlation between MVT deposits and orogenic forelands. The type of foreland does not appear to be important as they are found in collisional, Andean and transpersonal origins. Some deposits are also associated with fold and thrust belts that is formed in flat laying rocks later caught up in folding and thrusting. Origin of fluids and ores. The following features are pertinent to the origin of MBT deposits. Number one, the ore minerals are epigenetic. Number two, fluid inclusion data from the ore zones show a temperature range of 80 to 250 degrees centigrade. The salinities of the fluids range from 10 to 30 percent NaCl 
and they are similar to oil field brines. The high salinities can be explained by dissolution of evaporates, incorporation of quinate brines during diagenesis, or the incorporation of evaporated surface waters. Number three, for doom deposits, fluid inclusions show distinct mixing trends between two different fluids, one saline, one not so saline. Number four, organic materials such as bitumen, corrosion, or hydrocarbons are commonly observed in the ore deposits. Number fifth, sulfur isotopes show a variety of sources, evaporite deposits, conate seawater, diagenetic sulfides, sulfide bearing organic material, and the H2S reservoir gas. Most common source appears to be seawater sulfide that occurs in conate waters trapped in sediments or minerals. Number six, association with foreland basins and within those basins, the deposits tend to occur along major forts that formed or were reactivated during compressional tectonic events. Number seven, in any one area, sulfide minerals tend to favor particular fishes and horizons, collapse paraxia, paleocost, fishes, changes, etc., and are absent from other large masses or beds of carbonate. The ore deposits are particularly associated with the reef features. Number eight, lead, zinc, and iron as sulfides are the principal metals. Copper is almost absent. Origin. Putting all the above together, it turns out the formation of MNT deposits is not much different than that of the movement and localization of oil. That is, the source material for oil formation occurs in offshore shale and sand beds, and with compaction of these oil, gas and water migrate up deep and into a variety of traps important among which are permeable reef complexes. The idea for the origin of MBT deposits is similar. It is thought that the base metal ions are initially fixed in offshore sediments in foreland basins by absorption onto clays and organic matter, and also by precipitation directly as sulfides in black shells. Upon barrier and compaction, the metals are leached into or dissolved by the pore spice brines, conate seawater, and start to migrate up deep and or along suitable structures, normal compressive faults. Brands of the oil field type are known to develop high salinities similar to those found in the MBT fluid inclusions. Oil field brines can also be rich in zinc and lead. Their pH is between 4 and 6, and a metal content can reach uh, several hundred parts per million. During diagenesis and tectonism, the large volume of conate pore fluid is heated up and migrates up deep along major faults, where the hydrothermal fluid encounters local traps, reefs, costs, fishes, changes, etc. It precipitates out metals as sulfides. The precipitation may occur in one or two ways. A. Biological sulfate reduction redu reducing bacteria living on organic matter in the reef complex reduces SO2 and the brines to sulfur, which combines with the metal anions. B. A biological methane is common in organic sediments and in the flood inclusion of the ores. Reactions like the following can occur. This type of reaction would account for the production of metallic sulfide and also, at the same time, dolomitization of the limestone. This kind of process would explain a lot of the alteration mineralization, isotopic, and the fluid inclusion data for these deposits. Thank you. Please subscribe, like, and share.